Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Rhino Linux. Rhino Linux is an Ubuntu based distribution which offers a roll and release upgrade approach. The project's latest release updates the distribution's desktop experience, enabling the ability to auto file application windows. The project's package manager also introduces some new cleanup features. So I got the ISO loaded up into a virtual machine, so, uh, Let's get it installed and take a look at Rhino Linux. Here we are, booted onto the ISO. So uh, we have an icon right here that says install Rhino Linux. And hovering over it gives us information about the Connor Myers installer. So let's go ahead and double click this and uh, get it installed. All right, welcome to Rhino Linux, a roll and release Ubuntu based distribution with Packstall and XFCE at your at our core. American English selected. I click next. Uh, my location, Los Angeles, is correct. I'll click next. Keyboard English US default. I'll click next. Uh, here I'll select erase disk. Everything else leave it as default. Click next. Now let's add a user. Give it a strong and complicated password. And I'll select login automatically. Click next. This is an overview of what's going to happen. Click install and install now. All right. The installation is on its way, so uh, this usually takes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and pause the video now, and when I come back, we should be uh, greeted by the Restart Now screen. Alrighty, the installer is completed now. Uh, Restart Now is uh, checked off, so I'm going to go ahead and click Done. Okay, we are rebooted now, and we are welcomed by a welcome screen, quick tour. So uh, let's go through this first and uh, see what it has to offer. So I'll click on let's start. Color scheme, right now it's set to dark, but you can also put a dark mode. I like the dark mode, so I'll leave it on that. Package manager. All right. I'll Install the flat packs. Should I do snap? Let's do snap and do them all. Just so we can have a wide range of uh, applications. And then extra settings. The following are optional settings. Leave them as they are if you don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. Nala is an alternative front end to app featuring a beautiful UI. Just click next, give it my password. Some changes are being applied, please wait. All right, prompt it for a password again. All done, restart your device to enjoy your Rhino Linux experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot now as it's requesting here. All right, and we are rebooted. So now we can take a look at Rhino Linux and see what it has to offer. It's the XFCE uh, desktop environment. Uh, it's highly modified. So uh, let's start off with the panel on top. On the panel, on the right, we have our system tray. And on our left, we have a, a logout session manager. And then we have some, uh, looks like some, uh, for your folder options. All right, so let's take a look at, a, at the system tray first where we have our date and time. Clicking on it opens up your calendar. Then we have our presentation mode. So I wonder what clicking on that does. All right, next to that we have our volume rockers. 
So here you can adjust your volumes and also get to your audio mixer. Then we have a notification manager. And we also have our connections, network connections. So if you had any uh, Wi-Fi, you will see them here. And this is our uh, Thailand manager. And like I said over here, this is your folder construct for files, documents, music, pictures, and videos. And then you have your power session. So here you can log out, restart, shut down, suspend, hibernate, hybrid sleep, switch user. And then also here we have a dock and our dock has some pinned items. So we have your system, XFCE terminal, VS Codium, file manager, web browser, desktop switcher, application grid, and a search bar. So let's take a look at the first one, your system. And this is just a basically uh, information regarding your Rhino Linux, which is version 2023.4. And then next to that, we have the XFCE terminal. Let's go ahead and make this larger. So, it's the XFCE 4 terminal 1.1.1. And let's see if we have a NeoFetch. And we do. And you can see right here, we're running Rhino Linux 2023.4. The kernel it's using is 6.6.7. And right here it shows the desktop environment as Unicorn. So I guess this is how they modified it and called it for the XFCE. Uh, and the terminal. XFC4. All right, now let's see if we can do some uh, installations. So let's see. Sudo app install VLC. See if that works. Because I think I saw something about a uh, pack stall. Yeah, that's working. All right. So, uh, let me see. We just installed VLC, so let's take a look at it. And that's VLC. And it's weird because the way this uh, desktop is, is instead of having all your uh, menu settings right here, they actually come up on the, on the, on the panel itself. So you can see right here, all the options. And the version of VLC we're using is 3.0.20. And like I said, I just installed this in the terminal using app. And then we have a VS Codium for all you uh, devs and techs and server admins and things like that. If you want to write your code, want to get, get some PHP in or some Python or whatever. You write your code on here. And on the about, we have a VS Codium version 1.84.2. And it is an Electron app. All right. Then on top of that, we have our file manager. And it is Stunar. 
And it is Tunar 4.18.8. Tunar is a fast and easy to use file manager for the XFCE desktop environment. And then we have our web browser, which is Mozilla Firefox. And on the about, it shows us this 120.0.1, and there are updates available. And desktop switcher. I guess this loads up all your uh, workspaces. Yeah. So you have workspaces, four of them uh, by default. But if you wanted to add more or if you wanted to remove some, you can do it here. And then we have our application grid, which is pretty much our uh, all of our applications on our system. So if there's a specific app that you're looking for, you can go through here. And then see what else is on there. And then we have a search bar. So, this, yeah, I believe this is U Launcher. But uh, let me confirm. And it is here on the about. U Launcher is a free software, you can re redistribute it and or modify it under the terms of the GNU General Public License Version 3, as published by the Free Software Foundation. You launch a version 5.15.6. And basically, you launch it just a, just a search. So let's see, on VLC, and open up VLC. All right, so this is pretty much a uh, Rhino Linux. Uh, the theme is themed out the box pretty good already, so it's not bad. Uh, as far as uh, software installing, I did install VLC using the app, but I think there's also uh, something called Packstar, so let me try that. Let's see how this works. So I just did a quick install for HTOP. I did packstall dash uppercase I and the app you want to install. See how this works. All right. Now let's take a look at HTOP. And there we go. Using 777 megabytes. Load average 1.20. And current task 77. Pretty good. All right. This was, uh, like I said, it's a quick and dirty look at uh, Rhino Linux 2023.4. Uh, I'll have the home page and download link down in the video description. So if you want to take a look at it yourself, feel free to download it and uh, give it a run. So that's going to do it for me on this uh, overview. It's a quick and simple one. And I'm out.